Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And yes, we're doing another voiceover video. So, like always, I'm going to list the exact ingredients down below. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you what we're going to be using. So flour, sugar. So in this video, we are making cinnamon rolls. I love cinnamon rolls, guys. I'm telling you, I hate buying a cinnamon roll and it's cold or it tastes fake. You guys know what I'm talking about, those fake, fake cinnamon rolls. Again, I use salted butter because I don't put salt in my ingredients. They're in the butter. But yes, guys, uh, definitely. You guys must try this. And editing this video was so difficult because, again, I'm doing voiceover and this is usually not what I do. But now that I have, what is it called, a boonie, whatever, the tripod that holds my phone up, your girl is moving on to bigger and better things. And yes, you saw that. That was a big jar of powdered sugar. Now, when it comes to the milk, guys, I know it says 1%. You are supposed to use whole milk for this recipe, but I mean, I did fine. So the milk is heated up over the stove. I did get it a little too hot, but it, I mean, it's fine. Then we're gonna put in the melted butter. Now this is gonna help with the activation of that yeast that we're gonna be adding. Make sure this is important, you add your sugar because the yeast will work off the sugar, guys. If you don't do this, this recipe will not work. I've attempted it that way. Don't do what I did. <laughs> We're gonna give this a good mix, and as you can see, it's already starting to foam on the sides. This is the yeast activating. So, I mean, as you can see, I'm kind of going crazy stirring this bad boy up, but this is what you wanna do. So just keep mixing and then we're going to let that sit for about two minutes while we take our infamous coffee break. Because you guys, I miss my husband and that's his mug. <laughs> so after that, we're going to go ahead and add our vanilla, give that a good mix. Again, down below, I will be adding in the description box the exact amounts of everything. You guys will see two different amounts for flour. The bigger amount is what we add first and I'll put in parentheses next to it add first so this is what we're adding first now when we give this a stir as you can see I'm grabbing those edges you want to grab those edges girl you don't want dough you want it to be this sticky this is a good sign right here this is the gluten working in the yeast working in this is good you don't want it to look like pizza dough no that is a bad sign so we're just gonna keep scraping everything stirring that up don't forget the bottom and then just kind of form a ball and let it sit there. Then we're gonna cover it up with either a kitchen towel or whatever you guys have. And we gotta let that sit for one whole hour. So after an hour is up, we're gonna add the smaller amount of flour and we're gonna mix as much as we can and then we're gonna plop it on the table. So the best way is to go from under to top, as you can see right here. Look at that dough, all the stretchiness. This is a very good sign. You don't want it too stiff. That means you did something wrong with the yeast. Always make sure you flour your countertop. We guys, we're gonna be rolling out. We're gonna be flattening. This is important. So right here, I'm taking the flour out and I'm kneading it as much as I can. There's no such thing to me as over kneading, but I do this for a good five minutes, I believe to three to five minutes, making sure all those little crusty pieces are incorporated, making sure the dough has no cracks, and feeling if I need more flour into the dough if it's too sticky. But right here, guys, as you can see, this is perfect consistency. I don't think I ever had it this perfect before. Hmm, maybe. We're just gonna add some more flour. Most important step, flour your rolling pin, you guys. It does not matter that the dough's not sticky. You need to flour that bad boy to make everything work out because there will have some sticky spots and then guess what? You just ruined a perfectly rolled out flour. You guys saw that I patted down. That's what I do for my croissants. You guys will see that video shortly. Um, but it's just a technique I like to use, patting the flour down, I mean the dough down to help roll out. 
And then here we're adding our butter. We cut them up in cubes and it's softened and we're just spreading it with an offset spatula. You wanna make sure you get to every single edge. Now we're adding our brown sugar. So I just add in the middle and then I move with my clean hands. Guys, they're clean, don't worry. <laughs> and I'm spreading it as soft as I can all the way to the edges. And this is the most important part. You don't want to bite into a cinnamon roll that has no goodness in it. Trust me. Now we're going to add some cinnamon. This step too, since it is the fall, you guys can definitely add pumpkin pie spice mix. Oh my god, they're so good. Definitely let me know if you try that, but it, it's really good. You can add that instead of the cinnamon. Now this step is optional. This is like one of those barbecue brushes. I'm just using it to scrape everything and mix everything up. But then you can see there was a little boo-boo there. And um, yeah, it's okay. I know you guys heard my phone in the back. <laughs> it's late and I'm editing all these videos because I've had such a crazy, crazy week with deployment and moving. And you guys will see all that in the videos. Um, they're probably up by now. So I'll leave the links down below per usual. But we're just going to spread everything around. Now this step is very important. You want to flatten the first roll you do and the second. And then just start rolling. You don't have to go fast, guys. You want to take your time. You want to make sure everything is good, especially the corners. Or not the corners, the end. And then, you guys, once everything's pat, you literally can start rolling and just slightly moving your hands up so I'm just pinching everything making sure everything's good and then I start to slowly roll up now if you ever have an issue where it's a little loose you just want to pull back and tuck or this might happen all you have to do is pinch it together that is it guys it is perfectly fine and look at I even put that butter back on there girl because we ain't not wasting no butter <laughs> And you just roll up as slow as you can. You don't have to go fast. Now when it comes to cutting them, you guys, I usually use a piece of floss. It just, it's a cleaner cut. But I made this video early in the morning, you guys. I have a baby. She is two months old. You guys know this if you're following me. And um, yeah, this, I was just like, we're going to use a knife. <laughs> And as you can see, there's little gaps, but that is totally able to be fixed, as I'm going to show you right here. All you got to do is unwind it like a fruit roll-up. Remember those guys, fruit roll-ups? Damn, I feel old. But yeah, <laughs> all you have to do is roll it up and just pinch it like that. Look at that. Perfection. So yeah, now we got all of our cinnamon rolls. Now the ends, this is all you guys have to do. Look at Wow, simple, right? Okay, let's show you guys that one more time. We're gonna take this one because, you know, it came a little loosey-goosey on us. And here we go. That is it. Look at that. Good as new. That's all you have to do. Now we're gonna go ahead and put them in pans. You don't have to spray them. Now you want these to sit for 10 minutes before putting them in the oven. And then once you place them in your oven, you want to make sure your oven is fully preheated to 350 before you even put those in. So preheat your oven before you start. And then put the timer for 25 minutes. I put 30. Well, no, here I go. I went back. Again, guys, sorry. It's late and I'm trying to edit before my baby wakes up. <laughs> So now we're going to go ahead and make a type of glaze and this is just powdered sugar and milk and I do end up adding vanilla towards the end. Now you can make it any consistency you guys want. I personally like it on the thicker side so you pretty much have to just keep playing with the powdered sugar and the milk. Um, as far as me, I didn't have to add no more milk. I actually had to add a little bit more powdered sugar and mix it in. You can definitely buy a frosting tin. Cream cheese one is bomb, but this is what I had. I didn't want to go to the store. 
And I brought that whisk back out and um, yeah, we stirred it up. You want to get all those clumps out. I mean, look how silky that is. I don't enjoy baking as much as I used to, but I do enjoy watching it after. Not going to lie. So here we're just going to go ahead and put it in one of these bottles I had for when I make sugar cookies. That is why I have so much powdered sugar. <laughs> and we're just going to place it in the bottle just to make it a little more fancier and easier to spread on the cinnamon rolls. We don't want a big mess. Nope, can't afford any more messes, guys, as I make a mess here. Oh, here. <laughs> Let me know down below if you guys like these voiceover videos. I kind of enjoy it, but when I record, it's kind of weird because everyone in my house stays quiet. Well, me and my mom is everyone. Stay quiet. And um, that was me tasting it and letting you guys know it tastes good. But yeah, we stay quiet in the house and... There's no need to because I take the voice out. And there you guys go. You can see some bubbling in there. Oh, they're so good. And you want to let them sit for five minutes. Do not touch. That's really hard because your whole house smells like a bakery. But let them sit for five minutes. And then I'm telling you guys, pour this over. They're still hot because they're still in the pan. You do not want to remove these from the pan. And you just... Go as little or go as heavy as you want. You can add nuts to this as well in the inside mixture or you can add them on top. You can toast some pecans or almonds and throw them on top right now with the frosting mixture, the icing. And oh my god guys, it's so good. I've tried that before. Look at this. I had to give you guys a slow-mo. Because this right here is pure perfection. This is what you call food porn, guys. Sometimes I'm just watching like, I really made that? Yeah, I did. I did. So I have a bunch of these um, from when I used to have my little baking side business. And I just went ahead and put it together, put wax paper. We're using an offset spatula and we're going to carefully cut these out. So I made this box for a friend of mine's who was visiting and um, just wanted to send her home with a few goodies. And look at that. Look at that drizzle coming down below. And you can see the icing crust up, got hard. The brown sugar caramelized, became gooey. It tastes like caramel, guys. Ugh. It was so good. So in the box, I'm adding a few of the cookies I made yesterday, actually, when I made this video. I will link down below that recipe if you haven't watched already. But I've just been trying to stay busy and make videos. And that's pretty much it, guys. And I closed the box up for her so she can take it on the plane. And right here, I know you see the box looked a little dusty. Again, I just moved. Um, it was not in the inside. I made sure it was not the outside. And I went and wiped it off, as you can see right here. So everything's fine before someone comes at me. But um, this is just a cute little easy way to show people you care. Um, very inexpensive. I used to make this for people at my bank job that I used to work at before moving out to South Carolina, and they loved it. I loved it. And of course, this wouldn't be a YouTube video without the bite shot, because you guys know how I love to give a bite shot. It was so good. This is really, really good, um, especially with coffee. You can cut them fatter and they'll be jumbo, but I made them small this time. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you tried this recipe. And until next time, bye guys. Mm -hmm. Totally worth it. Bye guys.